In the initial scenes of the movie, the audience is presented with a cluttered and disorganized room. A lot of book pages were scattered everywhere. A girl whose name was Alicia. She was putting petrol on all sides there. So all the pages and books could be burnt. There was a woman in front of Alicia, who was crying and stopping her from doing this. But she also puts petrol on her. She burns a book and throws it on her. From which the woman begins to die. She was being killed, and the room was lit up with fire. The whole room was lit up. There was a computer there that was also burning. But it was still on and, a message was written on it, she will be the one to die. Later, we're shown the story after six years. We see the main character of the story, a girl named Angela. She and her friends were becoming the writers. They used to study together in a college. Then they all come to their book club meeting. They tell each other about their written books and novels. Similarly, after reading new novels and stories, they talk about them. The book they were talking about was a scary book. Meanwhile, a girl, Seba's and Angela's friend have an argument, because of this, Angela's friend gets upset and leaves, Angela goes after him to talk to him. Her friend tells her that he doesn't like Seba's at all. If you're my friend then break your friendship with him. Angela denies doing this. She says you both are equal to me, this is your personal matter, I can't do this. Later, Angela and Seba's talk to each other at night. She tells him that I'm pretty upset because of one thing. I've not written any book for six years. Now, I feel as if I'm not a writer at all. But Sebas reassures her don't you worry, let me know if you need any help in writing a book. I'll fully support you. Now, both of them leave on their way. Now, Angela realizes her mistake. That's why she apologizes to her friend for her misbehaving. Later, she came home. She thought to write an email to the professor. She wrote a message that I'm searching for a new story to write a book. Sir, I need your help. She thinks a little and stops mailing. Later, she remembers a book told by Sebas. That was named, Killer Clown. It means the killer was a clown in this book. He was a normal person, and was made a clown because of a disease. Whenever that disease takes control over him, he gets mad. He wears the mask and suit of the clown, and kills people mercilessly. Seeing this, Angela got scared and turned her laptop off. The professor tells the class that people make big mistakes while writing horror films. This leaves these stories with a lot of faults, and the story has lost all of its charm. A writer takes the horror story of another writer, changes it according to him, and makes a new story. To be a good writer, make your own story at any cost. Hearing this, Angela begins to think. Obviously, she was also thinking of taking someone's story. To make her story. After the class ends, the professor talks to Angela. He says come to my office, I want to talk to you. When she went there, the professor told her that he received the mail she sent. Hearing this, she begins to think. That I didn't send the mail. Then she thought that she might have sent it and forgot. Then the professor begins to tell her about him. My life isn't going well. There are a lot of problems, because I'm going to be divorced. Angela also begins to tell him about her. She says sir, I need your help to complete my story. Hearing this, the professor locks the door and says, okay, this was the mail but I got another mail. Later, he strangely came to Angela. He begins to misbehave with her, she gets so angry that she hits the professor with her leg. She asks him to open the door quickly. If you don't do this, I'll shout. The professor opens the door but also threatens her. If you tell anyone about this, I'll destroy you. As she was pretty sad and angry. So she told her friends about this. She doesn't file a report against the professor. Her friends were quite angry, and they decided to take revenge on the professor at any cost. So he never does this act again. So all of these friends put on the clown masks, and go to the professor to teach him a lesson. They went to the place where the professor was. Now, he was running in fear. Meanwhile, a stranger comes while wearing the clown's mask. He holds a hammer in his hand. It has a sharp edge. When the professor went to him, he attacked with his hammer. The hammer was hit on the head of the professor. As a result, he got injured but ran upstairs to save his life. Angela was there. The professor was quite scared, and he began to run in chaos. Suddenly his feet slipped, and he fell down. There was a sharp pole placed there. The professor fell on it, and it pierced his body. The professor dies on the spot. In the meanwhile, everyone also comes there. Seeing this all, they think that Angela killed the professor. But she cries and tells them that I've not killed him. When he came up, his head was already bleeding. It means someone attacked him downstairs. As their friends, they decided that whatever happened, we won't tell anyone about this. But Angela says no, let's call the police, that someone had attacked them. On this, everyone explains to her, that a big problem can be created in this way. Later, they all burn their clown's masks. They promise that they'll bury this secret. No one would tell anything to anyone. Later, everyone thinks that the professor took his life. In their lives, everything was quite normal. Angela considered herself responsible for the professor's death. 
Because of this, she remained upset. Anyways, someone sent a novel's first chapter to them. That was named, The Death of the Professor. Hearing this, all of them were shocked. Subsequently, they start to harbor suspicions about one another, that one of them is doing this all. Because no one knows the reality of the professor's death, except for them. Still, they were quite afraid. Later, Sevis tells Angela that the second chapter of the novel has also been published. When she reads it, it is written that the mad clown has killed one of their friends. According to the chapter, Angela and Sevis reach there, the place where the clown killed their friend. They didn't find their friends, but found the clown's message, on which it was written, to be continued. Meanwhile, one of their other friends came and told them, that I can figure out who that clown is. Later, they all gathered up in the college. Their friend told them that the clown is from their college. He knows everyone well, and he also knows how to spread fear. He has chosen our friends for his novel. According to this, we are the character of his story. Whoever he is, he is the one to like horror things. So we've to find him on the internet and the college's website. Who is the one who likes the horror stuff? The next day, they find out the information from the college. On finding, they find out that only they're the ones to like the horror stuff. So likely, the clown might be within them. According to the plan, they went to the library. When Angela is alone, she gets a message from the clown, who said I'm watching you. When Angela sees, the clown standing there, who points her out with his hand. Seeing this, she was pretty afraid and began to run. Meanwhile, she hits with her friend. At the same time, her other friends also came. They were shocked that he didn't know about their plane. But still, he came there. So, they began to suspect him. At night, these friends went to a club. The owner of the club was Angela's best friend. After a while, when Sevis's friend came out of the club, the clown came there, but his friend moved forward without any fear, and began to beat the clown. After putting off the clown's mask, he says, you, how did you come here? Without saying he stabs his weapon into his stomach, his stomach is pierced and his mouth is also bleeding. He died there on the spot. Now, the clown sends the third chapter to Angela, in which he told her I killed Sevis's friend. Now, they again gathered and began to blame each other. When they were finding their friend's body, again, there was the clown's message written. To be continued. Now, Sevis tells Angela that the ID from the clown is messaging us. I've searched for it on the internet. From there, I found out about a girl. She has been connected with the clown for many years. The girl is Alicia, the one who had burned the book's room at the start. After hearing the name of Elisa, Angela said that the novel I wrote, is based on this girl. The mom of this girl was crazy about stories. That's why she always asked Alicia to narrate the stories. When she denied it, her mom used to beat her a lot. After being fed up, one day, Alicia burnt her book's room. Later, that crazy girl burnt her mom and killed her. Whatever happened at the start, and the one who was crying was Alicia's mom. Angela says I liked that story, as I had no idea what to write, so I wrote Alicia's story in my novel. People liked that book a lot. My book became quite famous. Seeing my success, Alicia felt angry. She contacted me and told me that I'll take revenge on you. Although I asked her not to do this and I apologize. She said one day I'll write such a story that will hurt you a lot. I'll find peace. Hearing this, Sevis says it means Alicia is the clown. Alicia said that she had died. When she burned and killed her mom. Later, she burned and killed herself. But I'm responsible for this all. Whatever is happening, it is because of me. Hearing this, Sevis hugs her and reassures her. He also tells her his heart's secret that I love you. There, the clown started chasing Angela's friend. He somehow comes somewhere and hides there. The clown also comes there, but he attacks him after getting a chance. He throws him down while beating him with his legs. Angela's friend thinks he is faint, so he tries to put off his mask and begins to see. But, the clown who was acting, attacks him with his hammer. As a result, he faints. He doesn't kill Angela's friend. Angela sees the video of her friend, in which he says that the clown has sent a message in which he said that I'm going to publish this novel in a book, for which I have arranged a function, and I want you to come. But in my costume, now, they all reach that function. Meanwhile, Angela got the message from the clown. He actually sent them a video, that was their video of now. It means he is keeping an eye on them. Later, they all plan to find the clown separately. While doing this, they created chaos. Because of this, the security chased one of their friends. She ran and hid at a place hurriedly. Then the clown came there. Seeing him, she got scared and began to run. Then the clown came and stabbed his hammer into her back, from which she died mercilessly. When all of these friends went to find her, they found her dead body sinking in the water. Not only this, but the friend, who recorded the video also came in a bad condition. They all uncover his mask, and see that the clown had cut his throat badly. He was bleeding a lot. 
In this way, he died badly in front of them. Now, the clown's hammer was held by one of their friends. So everyone thinks that she killed her two friends. She clearly says no, I didn't kill him. Angela faints because of this all. When she gets her consciousness, he friend shows her a video. In which the clown had Captain tied Sebas. Angela goes to that place to save Sebas. She was shocked to see that the friend they were doubting, she was injured. She was about to die. She tells Angela that I'm not the clown and dies after telling this. Later, Angela goes to Sebas and saves him. At the same time, Angela's best friend also came there. He gives her shocking news. He tells her that Sebas is a clown. He is doing this because he is mad at you and wants to get you. Now, Sebas wakes up and holds his hammer. He hits Angela's best friend's stomach and injures him badly. Later, he makes Angela afraid by showing her his hammer. He says I'm the clown and I did this all to save you. I've done this all with full planning. I've written the story first, then made characters, and then killed everyone whose turn was there. Here we can understand that he is a mad writer. Who gives a dangerous turn to his story to get his purpose. That he fulfills it at any cost. While telling her about this all, he came quite closer to Angela. After getting a chance, she stabs a pen into his neck. That goes across his mouth and he feels pain. Then after getting a chance, she begins to run. Meanwhile, another friend of Angela's comes. In clown's costume, she was holding a hammer and says that I'm Alicia, who didn't die but survived. I've written this whole story with Sebas. Then I killed all of your friends one by one. I plan to prove that you also have the disease of the clown. So you've killed all of your friends. The whole blame will be on you, and you'll be trapped. In the future, Sebas will release your story in the form of a book. And everyone will like this book. Similar to how you stole my story and made it viral. And you became famous. Not only this, me and Sebas will make a film on this. And will earn a lot of money. When she was telling her, Angela saw her best friend behind. He was injured not dead. Angela distracted them and her friend pushed Sebas. The place from where the professor fell. He also falls on the sharp pole. That passes from his mouth and goes from his head. And Sebas dies in this way. Seeing this, Alicia attacks her friend with the hammer. As a result, he got injured. Seeing this, Angela ran from there. She runs to chase her. She ran and went into the basement. When Alicia was moving to kill her, Angela throws the electricity there. There was a fire because of the short circuit. It covers Alicia and she dies there. After a while, the police come there, who saved Angela and her friend. He was still alive, and everything was fine. Later, the story moves after one year. All the students were taking their writing class. Alicia was also there, and when she came out, she sees a clown in front of her who holds a hammer in her hand. After putting the mask aside, it was none else than Alicia. She escaped once again. Now, she goes to Angela to kill her. Seeing her, she shouted. The film ends with this suspense.